Okay, everybody, welcome back. It is Steve the Fan Man here, and it is Saturday, September the 14th, 2024. Today, I am going to be doing an, an inspection on one of my latest fan acquisitions, <clears throat> which is this, this uh, really, really cool General Electric Cassock fan. That I got a couple of months ago on my birthday. Uh, this came uh, with the Memoir, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the first, the very first General Electric ever to be in my position. And actually, uh, actually, truth be told, I have not seen many many fans with the General Electric brand at all in my entire life. I'm, well, I may have seen maybe at least once or once or, or a few within, uh, within, many, within many years prior to this. Um, this fan is in really good shape. Um, I'm guessing that it dates back to the 50s or the early 60s. I've seen a few of them here and there uh, on different other sites online, including uh, fan group, fan groups on Facebook, and I've even seen maybe at least about two or three videos on YouTube. Nothing in particular, uh, no tutorial of of how to service or anything like that. And that's what I'm going to try to get to today. I don't think I'm going to, this is going to be like a full restoration or anything, so I'm just going to have a look at it, and we're going to see what's going on inside of here. Fan does have a few, a, a small issue. It ceased up pretty good, and the last time that I tried to run it, it made a loud humming sound, and the blade was barely, was barely turning, and I did mess around with it, and the blade is the blade is pretty stiff. Uh, there's there's some some resistance there when I turn the blade. So hopefully I'll try to get that freed up today. Um, but other than that, I'm sure that uh, that this will be good to go for a long time. This was a free. I guess you could say it's a free find. And it uh, it has character. And um, I'm gonna try to make try to make good use of it. This is this is all metal constructed. This is uh, not the rather usual kind of metal that material on a on an older fan, if you will. There's a name of it, but I can't think of it. Maybe someone could put it in the comment box. This is all steel, as well as this is solid steel. Uh, you can see the grills there. I'll zoom in on it. As you can see, the grill there is pretty rusted, but that should not be a problem to fix. Uh, one, uh, there was somebody that I remember that told me that, uh, that steel wool would work perfectly for this, and maybe I'll go with that. Maybe I won't have to rely on repainting it. <coughs> Put it down, reposition this. Hopefully the tripod won't tip over. Okay. Maybe you can see it, but this is the speed positions. It's a three speed. It just has this the sliver down here, and there's a box underneath, like a little compartment, and uh, there's also a transformer inside of here too. This is the power cord. This is not the original. Technological Heritage pointed that out to me, and maybe I should have known that this was a molded power core, but uh, from the looks of it, uh, 
it's been a pretty good while since this thing was uh, was changed. But I am going to put a fresh new prong on this in due time. That is going to be a part of the project. Um, very interesting design of this. This has the vent on the top. And of course, it just has the interior rings around it. Maybe that's what you call it. And another really cool thing about this is, is that it has two propeller, propeller sets on it. I have never seen that with, with a fan. I mean, I have seen twin window fans and such, but nothing like this with a Hassel fan. So, let's have a look at the bottom. And there is the motor mount right there. These, what were the, the feet? Those seem to be okay. They're not crusted or rotted or anything, so maybe I really wouldn't see any need to change those cord just wraps around this right here and they're just screwed on to the bottom of the fan. Um, I did look at this to see how this is all put together and this basically just comes apart. It's kind of like everything is like sandwiched together. Like there's this top part that is just screwed on to this to the center part here and down here on the bottom this is held together with um, one two three four five six this is all down the bottom is bound together with six screws and the top is just just has one two three four five six about six or seven screws that hold it from the top. I'm going to see if I can try to get it apart from the bottom. And this is going to require this right here, a good thick flathead screwdriver. <clears throat> and I'm going to get this all apart and we're going to have a look at the internals here. And see if... Uh, See what's going on inside this thing. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna require some effort. So let me see if I can find my probably gonna need these to reach in there because uh because I'll need to get to those bolts that are uh holding this all in place. Okay. There just went a few of the bolts. These over there, definitely don't want to lose those. All I have to do is just stick my finger in there.
Okay, so now I have the the cover there removed, and now we can have a better look at the inside of the fan here. So here is the double blade set. Really cool looking blade there. Very, very uh, well pitched. And there's that clinking metal that you uh, love to hear in these old vintage fans like this. Blades are still in pretty good shape for the most part, still retain the same original paint. And I'm loving that green color too, by the way. It's a little faded out in some areas, but I'm really not... I have really have no intentions on repainting this thing. This is going to be like a clean and fixer-up kind of deal. Okay, and so here is a look at the inside of the components. There is the switch box. It's not seized up or anything like that. It's still good and functional. There is the, I guess that's the transformer or the speed coil. Kind of hard to make out of. Well, it's showing its age. And, uh, won't know, don't know exactly for sure, uh, if, if it's, if it's still, if it's reliable. I'm sure that it is. Hopefully it is. And there is a look inside of the motor. And actually, got my old lamp here. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so there's a look inside of the motor there. Everything that is that is to be expected. Dirt, dust, and everything. Um, probably was never oiled either uh, in a really long time or its entire life. Don't know the, the accurate history of this fan. But it's definitely going to require a good servicing. And... Seeing these General Electric motors up close like this, uh, very unusual for the motors that I had ever worked on. Zero experience with this, with these General Electric motors. Um, so I've seen tutorials, but still, uh, never tried my hand at this. It's going to be probably going to be a little difficult to get this blade off because the top is just. Held, this is held on with this rubber grommet here, and I don't know how that's going to come loose. So, if need be, I'll seek help for it. And it's a little rusty there, too. The bottom part is mounted on with multiple set screws, and... Well, there's really not much to show of the inside of the rest of the fan. I'm going to plug this thing in and I'm going to give a little demonstration of how this thing has been acting. Okay, so I've got the fan plugged in and I'm going to turn this on and we're going to see what it does. So yeah, it hums. Yeah, if you got a glimpse of that, a glimpse of that, as you can see, it is, it is out of balance. So I'm gonna have to work with those blades. So this is gonna be a big job here. Uh, not gonna get everything all into one video today. There's gonna be a part two to this. So this is more, was more or less of a, of an, an inspection. So, um. Next step with this is to get this cleaned up on the inside best I can, and then I will uh, seek some advice. If I have to, I'll put it on the the uh, the fan groups as much as I don't want to, and see if I can uh, get assistance on how to get this blade off. And I know that's going to be that's going to require some effort there, and I'm also going to. Uh, to figure out how I'm going to lubricate that motor there. 
it shouldn't be too difficult. And at least from videos that I had seen, particular, I've only seen servicing of these General Electric motors with only the box fans. So, if any of you out there in the fan community who's watching this right now, please, uh, any tips, advice on how I can get this motor, I'm sorry, this blade off and what I can do to service the motor, please let me know in the comment box. That would be greatly appreciated. And I can get this thing cleaned up and I can get it going. So... Well, um, that's a little inspection uh, with my general electric cassock fan today. I hope that you all have enjoyed, and maybe I can get this thing cleaned up and going uh, because uh, this was this was far too good to uh, to uh, to just I'm, I just don't want to have this thing sitting around, so. Definitely want to start using this. And from one project to the next. It's going to be a fun one. Well, there you go. I hope that you all have enjoyed. Uh, any any advice uh, on what I can do uh, to to get this thing, thing fixed up is greatly appreciated. And until next time, over and out.